Hey guys, your Chief Visionary Natasha Davis here with Impact Branding and this is another one of your five simple step series and I'm going to be sharing with you the ins and outs of marketing and a little bit of the how does this thing really work, right? And so here at Impact Branding videos and our YouTube channel, you can find all of the series but also you can keep up with each step. So this month we're going to focus on marketing and how to be successful with your marketing, how to make it work how to make it a little bit easier and how to uncomplicate those complicated things with marketing. So here we go. So when we talk about the five simple steps of how to make your marketing successful, we need to talk about, well, um, what is marketing and um, how do we make it easy and smooth? How do we use the race method? Uh, what is it? Um, when do we use marketing? When do we use advertising? What's the difference between market research and marketing research and all that good stuff? So I'm going to break that down for you here. So we're going to focus on step one today. So step one, marketing is the most critical part of having a successful business. And um, if you're running a business and you're not applying a clean and clear marketing strategy, then you're going to experience a lot of inconsistency, a lot of uncertainty with your business, with the, with your practices, with your income. Um, and it's, it's going to be very challenging. So I'm going to talk to you about some acronyms that I've come up with. And this is how I help individuals figure out how to do what and when to do where and all that good stuff. So I'm going to talk to you about the race method, um, how to pimp your marketing, how to rip into the market with advertising, and also how to avoid doing microwave marketing. And those things cost you a lot of money and it wastes a lot of time. So one of the most important things you must know about branding um, and marketing and so forth is branding comes first, then marketing, then advertising. Okay, don't do it backwards. It will cost you a lot of money and waste a lot of time. So branding is the strategy. That's the strategic part of things and that's the long term effects to the business. This is the promise that you're going to make um, in order to create awareness, in order to create preference and in order to create profitability. Marketing, on the other hand, is the psychology. That's a psychological aspect of the business. And this is going to be the short term perspective to the business. This is what's going to turn the promise into revenue. Yes. All right. And then we go over to advertising. Advertising is the equalizer. It is the great equalizer in business. And you use advertising to mobilize your message to the masses. What happens is individuals take advertising first, which they're paying for entry into a marketplace, um, but they don't really know who their target market is. And so they're wasting a lot of money and time because they're talking to the wrong people. Then the next issue that happens is they're going to do all this massive marketing, but they're not marketing to the right audience because they never did a brand strategy to be clear about who it is that they want to talk to and how they're going to serve them and all those good things, right? So you always want to step back when you're thinking of marketing, come all the way back and say, okay, Let's make sure that we have clear branding, the strategy. Let's make sure we have marketing, the psychological connector. That's the piece of the business. And let's make sure that we have advertising after, which is a great equalizer. So one of the things I want to share with you is, say for instance, you went off and you were in a new area. Nobody knew you and you put out all this money to do an advertisement in a paper. Well, nobody knows you. And so you're spending all this money trying to enter a market. You need to spend time building a relationship with that market first. You need to build a list and make sure your list is conducive to the clients that you want to work with. Then you need to build a nice, clean copy. The copy is going to be that strategic connection. That's the strategic part of it. It's going to connect all the pieces of the puzzle. And then you're going to have an offer. And the offer is going to be the creative component to everything because that's what's going to make people say, yes, that's me. So when you think of marketing, you want to step into the place and make sure, especially direct marketing, especially direct marketing, you want to make sure that you have the list, the offer and the copy. These are three important components. And if you don't have a clean list, a list of your qualified candidates, you don't have a good offer and you don't have good copy, then you're going to mess around. It's not going to be, it's not going to do what you need it to do. All right. So that's your five simple steps. Number one, so that you can go ahead and make your marketing more successful. I'm your chief visionary, Natasha Davis with Impact Branding, and you can continue to follow these series at our YouTube page on Impact Branding videos. Thank you.